I'm Bob Simon, class of 1953 undergrad, uh, MBA 59, and uh, was uh, in the development office for about 20 years, and uh, was involved when Stanford had its centennial campaign. I directed the New York office for that, and so spent several years living in New York, working for Stanford. I received a flyer, a newsletter from the campus, asking if anybody out there had either a song or a poem uh, about Stanford that might work for the centennial. And I did not, but I had a hobby of writing light verse. And so hanging on the subway strap there in Manhattan, I started to think about it. And uh, uh, we lived in Manhattan working mainly for Stanford for about eight years. And I did the math and it, I think I rode the, uh, the New York subway system 5,000 times of my own free will and volition. And while I was hanging on a subway strap, I started thinking what kind of poem might work for Stanford's centennial in the last 25 years since the 100th anniversary. I, uh, it's a fair question. I would not have a really concise answer to that. We all know that Stanford continues to change, to grow, uh, different landscapes created by different architecture all over the campus. Um, I think Stanford has continued to excel in so many areas and to make, a, uh, and to make those of us who are alumni so very proud of Stanford in so many areas. <clears throat> so I, I would say that, the, uh, that it's rather than a major change in what's happened, it would be a continuing trend that so many of us who are alumni uh, welcome. I wrote a poem about the Stanford Centennial, which was used during some of the Centennial activities back in 1991. Um, I enjoy writing poetry as a hobby, and so of course I was very pleased when Stanford chose to use it. It's called Centennial, the Poem. So now my alma mater confronts her jubilee. How does she, like all grand dames, grow old so gracefully? I was so young at Stanford, when I went there to learn. How could I see that Stanford kept something in return? How could I know that Stanford traded me for truth, kept just a pinch of callow and a sliver of my youth? It balanced the equation, that Stanford swap sublime, I badly needed growing, and all I had was time. Today I am more seasoned, perhaps I am more sage. <clears throat> she too is growing older. Yet Stanford does not age, renewed by each new student by whom her hymn is sung. She stays forever Stanford. She stays forever young.